fan, always informative at NRL Physio. Mr Brian Sini, I want to talk about injury-prone players this week. Is that a fair tag? I think back uh, to Eric Groth in mm. the early days, the great Parramatta winger. He'd get, he'd miss a few games, people say injury-prone. Yeah, absolutely. Now in more recent times, Josh Dugan, mm. he would be perceived as yeah. injury-prone. Is yep. the tag fair? Yeah, look, it's probably as a whole, it's a bit of an unfair tag because it is sometimes quite hard to tell whether a player will suffer an injury anywhere in their body, mm. but you can certainly identify areas where a player may be prone to injury in certain joints, certain muscles. Mm -hmm. So there are players that you could look at and say, oh, they are prone to, say, a hamstring injury or a shoulder dislocation. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Can we break it down a little further? Because, um, you know, the game that we play, I mean, it's... Damn hard. Like, you know, I'm not surprised. It'd be possible for a player to get injured every oh, week and it's not absolutely. reported. Of course. But of a, of a more serious kind. Does that put them in the injury-prone category? Yeah, absolutely. So, look, a, a good way to sort of identify whether an injury that is suffered by a player could have been due to being prone to that injury, mm. one of the great guides is, is it contact or non-contact? Right. Because a contact injury, if you cop a blow... Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, of course it could happen to anyone. Any that's player. exactly right. Yeah. So, you're not... You're not going to call that being prone to yeah. an injury but if you suffer these non-contact injuries so your hamstring injury for example being shot by a sniper an ACL injury changing direction and the knee collapses there can be a deficit in the player there that requires you know rehab different things to make sure that we ensure that that player doesn't suffer the injury moving into the future and I would think and I won't put names to it but mm. mentally I mean if you've had the injury a couple of times, let's say a broken jaw. Absolutely. I mean, who could excuse the player for being hesitant? That's exactly right. And look, I'm sure anybody out there who's played footy knows that as soon as you hesitate, that's usually when mm. you suffer more injuries. So being hesitant going into that contact can actually make you more prone to injury. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list one of my favourite players right now for mm. the way he played. Steve Matai, Ooh, yeah. a former Manly centre. You know, every game. Yeah, feeling of this, and does that mean that he was injury prone? Look, with Matt, I one of my, I guess, biggest theories and, and things that I like to say about him is he just played like a bull at a gate. So he had no filter, very little self-preservation, would fly in at a yes. hundred miles an hour, not worrying about am I going to get injured when I make this hit. It's I'm going to hit this guy. And there are some players who play with more self-preservation, so they go into tackles a little bit smarter, a little bit with more guile to make okay. sure that they look after their bodies. But then there are other players who lack that filter or they're a little bit less likely mm. to preserve their body fly in, make the hit, and unfortunately they can be more prone to injury. Oh, I think we're all been a little more enlightened about the tag injury prone. You can follow this man on Twitter at NRL Physio. Brian, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Vossi.